Hi all, now in this video we are going to talk about Moore's median, one of the most frequently used hypothesis test in, 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 uh, in Six Sigma I would say, because uh, in real life it's, it's really tough to find normal data. The most of the data that you will get will be not normal and whenever you have non normal data you you you'd be doing and whenever your y is continuous your x is discrete you you'll be doing either one sample sign man whitney or moore's median and majority of times in our lives we our 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 x will have more than two levels okay majority of times when you have just two levels obviously you can do man with me but in in our real life most of the times you you you'll see that you you will have x's which will have which will have more than two two levels so in such cases you can use man with me so i'm sorry in, in such cases you can use moore's median okay moore's median test now what moore's, moore's median test does so it will compare the median of multiple population and, and it will help you understand whether median of all those populations are approximately equal or not. If median of all those uh, populations are approximately equal, that means your X do not have any impact on Y, okay? But if median of any one population out of those all population if if that is significantly different from others then we say that x impacts y okay so in this case your null hypothesis will say that median i'm sorry median of all the population are approximately equal an alternate will say that median of at least uh, one population one population is significantly different from others okay so null is saying that median of all the population are, are approximately equal and alternately is saying that at least median of one population is significantly different from others that means x has significant impact on y all right so now uh, See, the, the, the reason we, we use Moore's median very frequently is because in case of Moore's median, uh, uh, Moore's median unlike uh, one way or another, we don't have any prerequisites such as uh, your data has to be random, independent, normal, or variance has to be equal, or distribution has to be normal, or, uh, or etc, etc. We don't have any such uh, prerequisites in Moore's median. So you can, you can apply Moore's median uh, uh, for any, any distribution. Okay, so now <laughs> let's see how we use Moore's median. Now suppose uh, this is my AST average call handling time, which is non-parametric, non-normal. Okay, and this is my team leaders, and I can see here the levels of the, the levels within this X is more than two. I have more than two team leaders: Ravi, Jay, Sunny, Bini, uh, Shishir. So obviously it's it's, it's almost uh, four or more than four team leaders that I have. So obviously because my y is continuous, my x is discrete, my y is non-normal and, and, and my x has more than two levels, so I should go with Moore's median, non-parametric Moore's median test, okay? Now in Moore's median, unlike one way or another, we don't have two options of stacked and unstacked, rather I just have one option of stacked, that my data has to be in stacked format. If your data is not in stacked format, make sure that your data is in stacked format. Again, let me repeat. Stacked means data of all the levels, data of all the subgroups are in one column. For example, data of all the team leaders are in uh, 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 are in the same column of this AST. Okay, so my data is stacked. So I would select AST out here, and here I would select team leader. Okay, and I will do OK. And this is what I will get after that. Okay, so I should look at this p value, which is obviously greater than 0 0.05. So that, that is my decision making criteria that says that uh, median of all the, the population are approximately same, okay? So uh, I should conclude that uh, team leader do not have any significant impact on my, uh, on my average, call handling, uh, average call handling time of my process, okay? So let's see here. Uh, this, is, uh, this is confidence interval for Bini's population median, 
this is confidence interval for median of J this is confidence confidence interval for population ma median of Ravi this is confidence interval for population median of Shishir and this is confidence interval for population median of Sh of Sunny and, and you see this all confidence interval ob overlap are, are overlapping over each other so that's the reason uh, p-value has come null because most of the time this is the basis on which you you will get your p-value if this all confidence level overlap so this is more likely that you, you have better chance of getting null hypothesis you, you have better chance of chance of getting p-value greater than greater than 0 0.05 okay so this is how we conduct uh, uh, Moore's median uh, okay